Thank y'all for joining us on the farm. Featured in this video are some helpful tools for gardening. If you are interested in purchasing, please use the links provided in the description. Thank you for supporting Basco Family Farm. Can you guys see the little baby on the left? It just laid down. Oh my goodness. That one's new. Hi y'all. I got Daniel here this morning and we got Tiny Tim. I'm going to be making some soil blocks so I can start my seeds inside. So let's get going. All right, y'all, here's my first tray of soil blocks. The soil's a little more wet than I want it to be, so I'm gonna add a little more soil to my mixture. And I have two more trays I wanna get done, and then I get to pick out what seeds I wanna start. I've made some more soil blocks. These are just baking tins. They're a set of two from the Dollar Tree. Um, I ran out of my trays for soil blocks, so this is my alternative. When you lift them, you have to be careful because it's going to warp, but it's going to get the job done. I also have some seeds from the Dollar Tree because I need to get pollinators into my garden. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these into the soil blocks. I'm going to be making a little greenhouse for some early seed planting and all I'm using is a water carton and my box cutter, duct tape. I have my drill. Hey y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and plant my seeds in these containers that I made, but first I wanted to talk to you about whether all seeds are created equal or not. I bought these basil seeds for a dollar from Dollar Tree. This was last year. Right now they have seeds uh, four for a dollar, so great price. Um, I used Roman tomatoes in my garden last year and the seeds came from the dollar store. Every single one of those seeds germinated. They're tomatoes, so they tend to germinate well. Um, but Normally, if it's a dollar for the seeds, these are really old seeds, so they're not going to germinate as well. But with the track record I have with the dollar store, I have not had issues with their seeds so far. Now, these ones are from a local um, nursery we have in town, and this was 50 cents, and it's right here. It's full of seeds. This is bib lettuce. Seeds are really tiny, so I'm thinking you have like 100 plus in this for 50 cents. So that is a great deal for how many seeds you're getting and the price, and you're supporting a local um, business. Now, I believe I got these seeds at Lowe's or a big brand name store. Um, and these were want to say these were like three to five dollars um, it's got a good amount of seeds it's already open so I've used a number of the seeds already uh, spinach you tend to get a number of seeds in a spinach pack but when I have bought seeds from Lowe's or any other big name brand store they do not germinate well meaning none of them come up out of the ground or very few do. Um, if you buy the more expensive organic ones or you see like there's an actual date printed on the packaging of when they uh, packaged the seeds, always go for the closest date to your date that you're purchasing. They will germinate better. So my, my thought is that the big name stores give you old seeds unless you pay top dollar and then you get fewer seeds. Also, I found out last year, they don't sell seeds year round. There's like a certain cutoff date and then they pull all of the seeds out of the stores and 
take them back to the seed banks. So make sure you get your seeds that you want when they're in the store because they're not gonna stay in the store. Um, this also is just from a big name store. And this is sage. So it's open, I've used it before. And it's, it's older so it probably will not produce all the seeds if I planted all the seeds, but it would produce a decent amount of them where it's still worth um, putting the energy into planting them. Don't forget to label what you put in each one. So I have my spinach, my bib lettuce, my basil, and my sage. I have it labeled on the caps and I have it labeled on the sides. So I'm gonna keep them inside for now because we're supposed to drop down to 14 degrees tonight. Hey y'all. I want to talk to you about seeds. Um, I'm just getting ready to uh, jumpstart, early start my seeds indoors before I transplant them outside. And so I came in to look at my seeds and I thought maybe I should talk to you guys about this. I started gardening um, I believe two years ago, uh, right around when the pandemic happened in 2019. So Daniel and I got married and we made garden beds at my aunt's house uh, because we didn't have a balcony or any kind of yard. We later moved and had a balcony and we made uh, garden boxes for our balcony while also upkeeping the garden at my aunt's house. And then we moved here and obviously like we have all the space in the world to garden, <laughs> but I am still a novice and I'm learning and it can be very expensive to garden. So this is my most affordable way to garden that I will share with you. And then there's some splurges that I'll, I'll show you also. Hi Peach, we need to focus here. Okay, so let me show you like the cheapest way that I have found to garden. These are all pumpkin seeds. This is from one pumpkin. Um, I believe this pumpkin was like a dollar. So I had these for decoration on our porch. Um, this is another type of pumpkin variety. Here's another pumpkin variety. Another pumpkin variety. Again, these are all from one pumpkin. This is a pumpkin variety. Another, another and so forth. Okay, this is actually from two pumpkins. These are like those little, little tiny pumpkins. Um, so I bought those for decoration, but I also was thinking, okay, I'm gonna save the seed so I don't have to buy pumpkins next year for decoration. Also, I could sell pumpkins, um, assuming that they sell. Our chickens love eating pumpkins. So that's a great uh, investment for us is I got all the seeds, I got decoration, and they are going to just multiply. Similarly, these are from butternut squash. Um, I believe this one was a store-bought butternut squash, but the butternut squash I grew this last season, I saved the seeds from that as well. This is from one acorn squash I bought the other day. And so that's all this year. I got orange seeds saved from oranges this year. I have red pears. I have some apple seeds. I have watermelon. I have jalapenos and bell peppers. Those are all those are all from this year. And back when I lived in California, these are sunflower seeds from my sunflowers that I grew in California. So that's a separate year. Some do's and do nots. When you do save seeds, always label what seed it is, because no matter what you think, you're not going to remember it later. Um, also date it. Uh, so you want to use seeds from this last season. Those are going to be the ones that are going to germinate and be the strongest. Yes, seeds will grow when they're older, but when they're older, they're not going to grow as well. Not as many seeds are going to survive. So you're going to have to plant way more seeds with older seeds than you would have to plant with fresh new seeds. So for example, I have these containers here. Um, this is not labeled, this is not labeled, this is not labeled. Thankfully I labeled this. This is uh, green bell peppers and they look 
nearly the same as like jalapeno seeds. So I would not want to mix those up. So make sure you label it. These ones I didn't label. I happen to know that these are from poppies that were on our porch. Are they called poppies? Pansies, excuse me. These are from pansies that were on our porch and I was saving the seeds so I could do some flowers. And then I had no idea what this is. It had been chai tea, but now I am using the container for something else. And I happen to know we don't have nectarines on our property. These are peach pits from our peach trees that came with our property. This is some kind of bulb. I have no idea what it is. I'm assuming it's a flower bulb. Yeah, so label your things. All of this takes up a lot of space. I really like when I have a small amount of seeds, just using these type of envelopes. Uh, I think these are for coins. Um, so I normally put the month I harvested and the year, and then if I know the variety, I put the name. This one, I did not know the variety. It was a tomato that we got in a box of groceries that were mixed and not labeled. So I just said medium red round tomato. When you decide to buy seeds, buy seeds of plants that you want, that you are going to eat, because otherwise you're just growing to grow. I don't know why anyone would do that. Maybe they're gonna sell it to somebody else, but might as well put the goods in your fridge that you would be buying from the store. Okay, for storage, this is a system my husband saw online and so he got it for me and it's a great system however this is not going to fit in here you know these uh, peach pits these are not going to fit in here but if you're buying seed packets this is great so um, I sort it by variety these are all of this is a ruby steak lettuce leaf, here's a mixed lettuce, um, a gourmet blend, kale, more kale, we got bok choy, oh I had it this way because it's, it's open, so it's upside down, we got cabbage and then like a red cabbage, so I keep them all in here, and then there's that, whereas, let's see what do I have here, I believe I have these all sorted by family type. So these are all different types of eggplants. Yeah, all three of these are eggplant seeds, different varieties. Um, let me show you like, these are peppers. So here's onion seeds, onion, and then like these are green onion seeds that I let green onions such as these i planted them outside i let them go to flower and then i collected the seeds from them so this is from 2002. um all different types of onions and then in the same family you have leeks you have um scallions and these are more onions so we we consume a large amount of onions and garlic in our house so I like to have more than what anyone probably thinks is edible <laughs> in the garden if I can um, I did plant onions outside but I do not think they are going to do well uh, that is a plant I am learning how to grow <laughs> um, easy plants to grow these ones I grew my very first year at my aunt's this is a cilantro, sage, um, and like mint. All of these, especially the cilantro, I found were very easy to grow and keep alive. Another one that is easy to grow and keep alive, in my opinion, is a basil plant. Although most people I know who are not farmers, they have a lot of trouble growing basil. So basil, it wants full sunlight, but it doesn't want full sunlight all day long. Also, it likes moisture, but it doesn't want to be sopping wet. And when you water your plants, make sure you water um, the ground, not the top of the plant. 
So I have um, a sweet basil, I have a lemon basil, and this is a Thai basil. This is a holy basil. Um, basil is amazing for cooking. This is my bib lettuce. I checked it, checked it last night and it had not germinated. It had not sprouted yet. You see those little green dots? That is the lettuce seeds. It has germinated. It's sprouting. I'm really excited.